Hello and welcome to the video tour of the Accelerator website plugin. Well, when Accelerator is first installed, you will see this interface with these two buttons here. And you probably clicked on step one to get this video tour. All right, we're now going to move on to step two. So moving on to the settings and configurations page, you're going to find two tabs here, the settings and then the Google PageSpeed API tab. On this first page, you're going to see all of the general configurations, and they will be set up with most features already configured for optimal use. Beside each feature, you're going to see a button that you can click on to bring up an explainer video. Phase shift in this first section is the feature set which handles the deferral of blocking resources, which is pretty important. Code crunch below that handles the compression of code files such as HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. At the top again here we have SmartServe, and this encompasses the technologies that are server level that help improve performance. Below that is Pixels, Pixel Squisher. It's our interface to the tiny PNG image optimization platform. To enable this feature, you're going to need to go over to TinyPNG by following this link to sign up for an API key or application program interface, if you've never heard of API before. Basically, it's like a password. So click that, sign up. It takes less than a minute, and you get 500 free compressions per month. We found this to be pretty adequate for most websites. Below that, you have Render Plus, which is the section that handles secondary display features. If you decide to change any of these features, remember to hit the Save button at the bottom. Once we're done with this setting page, we're going to move over to the Google PageSpeed API. Now, you're going to need to get a Google API key here. This is going to enable Accelerator to scan your pages. It's free. So just follow the instructions here to get yourself an API key, paste it in there, and again, hit Save down at the bottom. We're now going to move on to the Scan page. Here, you're going to find a list of all of your web pages. The interface here will automatically start to build your critical CSS for all of these pages. As you can see here by the little spinner icon, it's actually in the background building your above the fold critical CSS. Once all of your pages have had their critical above the fold CSS, you'll be able to scan your site. Now you can remove, or I should say exclude, pages from being scanned. Say it's not a pertinent page, it has nothing really to do with your website. It's a blank page or it's got a folder with, you know, test pages in it or whatever. And you don't really think that it has any bearing on your website as Google sees it. You can exclude it if you wish. And that's just going to exclude it from the scan. All right, I think we're ready to scan the site. Here we go. So you can see the little spinner icon. It's telling us, all right, something's happening. And in a second, it's going to update. 15 pages remaining. Okay. At that, it's going to take upwards of 10 seconds per page. So if you have 15 pages, it's 150 seconds or so. And so we, you know, it's going to be two or three minutes while this happens. Okay. In the meantime, I'm going to show you the configuration button for each file. You can actually override the global settings for each file. So, for example, maybe you're having a problem with some JavaScript or CSS or, or something on the page, and one of these features perhaps was making your score a little bit lower than you would want. You can actually try to disable this feature if you wish. It's not often that we need to use this tool. But I'm going to show you here with the catalog page in just a moment, once the scan has been complete, how it can affect things. All right, looks like we're under two pages here. This won't take too long. Once it's done, we're going to be given a popover dialog box to tell us that the scan has been complete. This is probably going to take longer than we want to. I wonder how much silence we're going to have here. Let's just see here. Any second. Oh, there we go. Scan complete. All right. Yay. What this does is this reloads the interface, and we're going to see a whole bunch more information here. Time of the last scan, right? We're going to see a benchmark score, which is what the score would be with accelerator disabled, and the actual current score. All right. As you can see here, we've disabled or excluded the blog page. It wasn't scanned. It wasn't included in that last scan. Some of our pages are 
going to have a benchmark score that are pretty low. For example, if we take a look in this folder, the original score was 34. We bumped it up to 99. It's pretty high. Of course, we're not expecting that every page is going to get 100. The pages that you see here for this example here are pretty simple pages, pretty blank pages. But we're going to see that we've taken the score from 89 to 100, or 84 to 100, in this case 95 to 100. But you notice that this is an, sort of a yellow or orange icon. Okay, I'm going to click that. The reason it's like that is because before this demo I had actually explicitly enabled this feature. On the settings page it's actually disabled by default. We're going to save this and then we're going to re... Where did that one go? Catalog to Right here. We're going to rescan this. We're going to see that the scan actually drops. So by changing some of the configurations we can actually improve on a page-by-page -page basis if we need to tweak things. Again, in this situation here, because we don't have 100%, it's going to tell us, hey, there's some things that need to be worked on. And here we're going to click and load that. It's going to take a second, I guess. And it's going to tell us that we need to work on prioritizing visible content. And that's what that last feature was. So we're going to go and reconfigure that here uh, to prioritize visit. We're going to actually enable this, explicitly enable and save. And again, we're going to scan this. It's going to take our scan, our score back to 100. Okay, so now that we've done a site scan, we can get some more detailed metrics just by going back to the dashboard. Here we go. Here we're going to see our overall site speed score. Basically, it's, it's adding up all the pages and dividing them by the number of pages and giving you the average score. And for the purpose of this tour, Apparently, I've got 100%. Now, again, we're not expecting that every page is going to get 100%. If you are in the green, which means that you've got an, you know, like if you're going to high school and you got an A, it doesn't matter whether or not it's an 85 or if it's a 99, you got an A. If you get in the green, if you get green scores, you're 85 or above, you're doing fantastic. But of course, we're going to aim for higher as well. So for this example, we received 100%. And over time, this chart is going to show a graph of what your current score is and what the benchmark is without Accelerator installed. Anyways, thank you so much for watching our tour of Accelerator. If you have any suggestions of features that you think we should include or improve, please let us know. We'd love to hear from you.